So the moral of this short film is, if your neighbor wants to teach your kids how to use a crossbow, just let them. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to an all new Talkin' Movie Shorts. As always, I am your host, The Real Gino, Gino Reynolds, and today we're going to be talking about the Jurassic World short film, Battle at Big Rock. Uh, I'll warn you, there'll probably be some spoilers in this. It's only an eight, nine minute long movie. Um, I will put a link to it in the description below. It's up on YouTube, so it's real easy to find. Uh, the basic setup at first for this short film, well, it's the end of the last film. It's this. We've entered a new era. Welcome to Jurassic World. So what you have here is a short film that takes place about a year after the events of Fallen Kingdom. And uh, you hear some news reports saying there's been dinosaur sightings and things like that. Uh, but then you have this family that's out camping. And they're just having a good old family time. Uh, you can tell there's a little bit of stress in the family, but that doesn't... In a way, it doesn't have a lot to do with the story, but then again, it does. Uh, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so they're they're camping, and then all of a sudden, a uh, Nasutoceratops. I had to look at it real close to make sure I said it right. A, a Nasutoceratops uh, family shows up, and they're worried at first, but then one of the kids says uh, it, they, they eat plants, so we're okay. So it's like, oh, good, no panic. Then all of a sudden. The Allosaurus shows up and attacks the Nasutoceratops family. And what you see is uh, the Nasutoceratops family fight as a family to survive. Because uh, you have like the mother and the kid and then daddy shows up and daddy's a lot bigger uh, and he fights the Allosaurus. Um, so then they get away and... But then the Allosaurus is still there, and it basically is drawn, its attention is drawn to the family. And uh, the family probably would have been okay if the baby didn't start crying, uh, <laughs> because the Allosaurus comes after the baby. And what you basically have is this family that's not very close. Um, they seem uh, like a blended family, um, and... So, but they're not real close, but then they have to fight as a family to survive. And that's kind of the, the parallel that they're showing between them and the Nasutoceratops family is that they need to come together as a family to survive this Allosaurus attack. And you know, it's going to come into play when one of the kids is like telling on one of the other kids saying, uh, you know, the neighbor's teaching her how to use a crossbow. It's like, that's going to come into play somewhere. And of course it does. Uh, one of the kids just comes out and shoots the Allosaurus like twice in the eye uh, with a crossbow. And it's it's a little silly. Um, the the look on the... I mean, I don't, I don't rip on child actors too much. But the look on the, uh, the little kid's face is kind of funny. Um, it's, it's like, who's an adorable little killer, you know? Um, so yeah, there, there isn't much to it other than they're trying to show this parallel that, hey, maybe, uh, we and dinosaurs aren't too different when it comes to family and things like that. Um, but then, uh, and how that comes into play in the next movie, I don't know, since we have like the little clone girl or whatever, uh, don't even want to get started on that. Uh, but then during the credits and stuff, they show, uh, different dinosaur signs. You see like compies attacking a little girl and just little things like that. There's, there's a few different things of them showing dinosaurs being, you know, interacting in, you know, the, the world now. Uh, but the, here's my issue with this is I was reading articles from Con Trevorrow and he's basically saying, well, we're not going to get dinosaurs in the city. And it's like, well, I mean, yeah, we had that in another Jurassic Park movie, but where are they going to go? Are they just going to stick to the deserts and things like that in America now? I, I just don't, I don't know what the plan is. Um, while this short film was fine, uh, it did nothing to really get me excited for another Jurassic World movie. I mean, being that, I mean, I, I love the first one. The second two are okay. And then I did not like the Jurassic World movie. So, 
this one doesn't really do anything to get me excited for it. But, I mean, if you like Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, you should definitely, I mean, it's like eight, nine minutes. You should definitely check out Battle at Big Rock, and it's free on YouTube, so why not? That's going to be all for this edition of Talkin' Movie Shorts. If you like what you've heard here, please subscribe to the Real Geno YouTube channel, like this video, and if you have anything to say about Battle at Big Rock or Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Till next time, I'm your host, the Real Geno, Geno Reynolds. See you later.